Welcome to Capture One. My name is Peter Eastway and I'm the editor of Better Photography magazine. I'd like to give you a quick introduction to Capture One, one of the world's most powerful image processors. Capture One is very easy to use. Let's look at the main controls. The Tools tab on the top left gives you access to all the core tools you'll need to edit your images, such as color balance, exposure and sharpness. The image viewer in the middle provides a high quality rendition of the selected image and all the changes you make with the tools will show instantly. So if I were to increase my exposure, you'll see the increase in exposure happening immediately on the screen. The thumbnails browser down the bottom provides image thumbnails plus there are various options for rating, naming and sorting your image files. And the toolbar up the top provides structured access to functions found throughout the application. You can import images from a compact flash or SD card into the Capture One folder or any folder of your choice. Capture One does not force you to place your images into a proprietary library, rather you simply work directly with images in folders on your hard drives. To view images in a folder, simply browse to that folder using the library tool and select it. Alternatively, dragging a folder with images from the Finder onto the application icon like this or into the browser area itself will also open up the images. Now your images appear in the browser and you can select any of them to view in detail or to make your adjustments. Once you've completed your adjustments, you use the Output tab to process the images. Select the image output parameters such as TIFF or JPEG 8 or 16 bit and a host of sizing options, then click on the process control and the file will be processed with your adjustments and saved according to the specified parameters. Capture One is not a single image editor, but a workflow application that allows you to adjust a large number of images very efficiently and with great effect. The key to working efficiently in Capture One is the ability to copy and paste settings from one image onto another. You can either copy directly from one image to another or via the settings clipboard. Let's show you what we mean. We'll go come over to the exposure tab and we'll just adjust the exposure, ramp up the contrast and the colour. To copy these adjustments to say these other three images here, it's a simple matter of just selecting the images coming up to the little icon, it shows the adjustments made, press apply and then you can see here that the other images have also been changed. How easy is that? You don't have to copy your image file to try different looks. Use variants for testing out different optimizations or looks of the same image. To create variants is easy. Select the image down here in the browser, come up to image and click new variant. You'll see down here in the browser that another copy of the image has been added on the right. Select on the image on the right and now make some adjustments. We'll come over to our exposure tab. Let's take it, the saturation down and make it into a black and white. In this way I can see two versions of the same image, the color version or the black and white version, but I've only got one copy of the file. You can also use styles for saving any number of adjustments into a single setting for easy reuse on other images. Creating styles from adjustments you have already made is very easy. Come over to the Adjustments clipboard and if the adjustments aren't already recorded there, press Copy. Then come down to Styles and Save Clipboard as Style. A dialog will open up and we will call it, let's say, Birds 3 because I've done this a couple of times already. Press OK, OK and now you have the style saved. To apply this style to another image, select the other image, go to the Styles dialog and when you open it up, you can run your mouse down and watch a number of the preset styles that come with Capture One or come down to the style that you had, have just created, Birds 3, and there it is. Very, very easy. Of course, sometimes you simply won't have time to perfect every image, but you need to get results fast. The Auto function helps you deliver ready-to-use images with just a few clicks. Many of the important tools in Capture One have an auto feature which automatically adjusts the image. Look for the little A icon. Here in white balance for instance, click it and we have an adjustment of an automatic white balance, an automatic exposure and an automatic high dynamic range. To automatically adjust all the auto sliders with just one click, 
we can come up to Adjustments and click on Auto, or as you can see, the shortcut is Control or Command F. Capture One has a default application workspace with a standard arrangement of tools, browser and viewer. However, there are many different layout options that can suit the way you want to work. For instance, the simplified workspace, which you will find here, gives you just the necessary tools and features to create ready-to-use images with a few clicks. This workspace is especially suitable for getting started with Capture One. It hides away the more technical and advanced controls. However, if you want more control, then it's very easy to revert back to the default workspace, which gives you all of the tools available in the standard arrangement. And in Capture One Pro, there is a wider choice of workspaces, where you can customise the workspace to your own requirements. Up here you'll see that I've actually made my own workspace and named it Peter One. Capture One is a very powerful application, but as you can see, it's also very easy to use. The Phase One website has a series of video tutorials with in-depth instructions, and Capture One comes with a detailed user guide. You can download Capture One or Capture One Pro and test it for 30 days for free. And I'm pretty sure once you do, you'll agree Capture One is an incredibly powerful application for digital photography. Cheers.